Welcome to your deep dive. You handed us some uh, really interesting material on ERP, AI, and this company, Parsimony. Seems like you're really interested in how it all connects to, you know, helping entrepreneurs. It's a fascinating area for sure, especially with how fast both fields are advancing. We're really seeing a convergence, right? Yeah. AI is not just a buzzword anymore. It's becoming this powerful tool within ERP systems themselves. So should we start with ERP then? We've got stuff here from Parsimony's own website, descriptions of their software. Looks like they're all about making business operations smoother, especially for like e-commerce and manufacturing. Exactly. And you know what's interesting? ERP at its core it's about integrating all the different parts of a business, right? You've got inventory, financials, customer relations, bringing it all into one system. Ah, so it's like a single source of truth, which they mentioned a few times. Yeah, that's the concept. And it's key because it gets rid of those data silos. You yeah. Know, give you a more complete view for uh, making better decisions. Makes sense. Their AI integrations seem like a big deal to them, too. We've got these AI chatbots mentioned all over. And then there's that YouTube video, AI and ERP growth hack. They're really pushing that angle. That tells you a lot about where the industry's heading, though. Mm -hmm. Think about it. An AI chatbot, it could answer customer questions, sure. But it can also do things like analyze sales data, you know, predict demand, even optimize your inventory in real time. That's the power of it, AI inside an ERP system. Okay, so it's more than just like automating tasks. It's actually... It's about working smarter, yeah. Making decisions based on data, not just gut feelings. So how does that actually work in practice? Like say you're an entrepreneur running, I don't know, a multi-channel e-commerce business, right? How would Parsimony's AI actually help them make those smarter decisions? Let's stick with that e-commerce example. Hmm. Imagine... You're running your business, but you've got separate systems for your online store, for your warehouse, for your accounting. It's a mess. Trying to keep track of inventory alone would be... A nightmare. But with ERP, all that data is in sync. So if someone buys a pair of shoes from your website, bam, inventory updates everywhere automatically. No more overselling, no more frustrated customers, and way less chance of you messing up an order. That alone would be a huge relief for most entrepreneurs, I bet. But let's talk about the AI side a bit more. We touched on AI chatbots earlier. Right, and that's another area where it gets really interesting. They make it sound revolutionary, but how does it actually play out for someone's business? Picture this. Customers on your website looking at, say, a new laptop bag, right? Mm -hmm. Based on what they've bought before, what they're looking at now, the AI chatbot pops up, personalized discount though, Maybe even suggest a laptop stand to go with it. Whoa, that's pretty slick. So it's not just answering questions. It's like... It's proactive, engaging the customer, potentially increasing sales, and doing it 24-7, might I add. That's got to be music to any entrepreneur's ears. But, you know, it seems like Parsimony gets that just having cool tech isn't enough. They talk a lot about customization and the expertise of their team. Why is that so important? You're right, they do. And it's smart because... As appealing as this idea of a one-size-fits-all solution is, the truth is... Every business is different. Exactly. So how do you actually address that need for customization, especially for entrepreneurs who might not be you know, tech wizards themselves? Right. They might not have a whole IT department on call, so then... That's where custom cloud app development comes in, yeah. API integration services, all that. What it boils down to is they're not just handing you software and saying, figure it out. They're working with you. Oh, okay. So it's more of a partnership then. Much more. Tailoring the system to your specific needs, whether it's integrating with some specific platform you use or, you know, tweaking the workflow for your sales team, whatever it is. That makes a lot of sense. But customization, yeah. it can be pricey, right? And time consuming. Do we have any insight into how they handle that? Well, it seems like they tackle it on a couple of fronts, yeah. right? First off, remember those videos you mentioned, mm. like parsimony-led issue, parsimony quick implementation, that sort of thing. Yeah, I was actually just thinking about those. It's interesting, though. It's not just, you know, some random tech person giving a demo. It's Steve Simonson himself in those videos. Seems like he really wants people to, like, actually use the platform, you know, <laughs> not just have it sit there. Exactly. And that kind of leads into the second part, doesn't it? The expertise piece. They talk about decades of combined experience, global reach, all that. But it's not just marketing fluff, you know. Mm -hmm. Having developers and consultants who really get both the technology and what it's like to run a business day to day, that's huge, especially for an entrepreneur who might be new to this whole ERP thing. It's like they're not just giving you the keys to the car. They're giving you driving lessons, too. Huh. I like that. And speaking of expertise, 
we can't forget Steve Simonson's own background, right? I mean, you send over his website, details on Catalyst 88, SOP Box. This guy's been on the Inc. 500 list. Yeah. It's clear he's not just a tech person. He's a serial entrepreneur himself. Mm -hmm. He gets it. Yeah, you can really feel that in, like, everything they put out from their marketing stuff to those YouTube videos. Yeah. And it's not just about the success either. He's got that quote on his website. You can have everything in life you want if you will just help other people get what they want. It seems like that's not just a business motto for him. It's more like a whole philosophy. Which is really interesting when you consider this retirement 2.0 thing he's got going. Instead of, you know, kicking back and relaxing, he's like doubling down on this mission to help other entrepreneurs. The Empower E-Commerce Association, the Awesomers podcast. He's got this whole ecosystem of support he's created. It's like he's saying retirement is just the beginning. And this whole thing about sharing knowledge, it's not just through like traditional methods either. This AI mentor bot he's working on, that's pretty next level. Right. I mean, imagine having access to his insights, his experience. But it's AI, so it's available 24-7, even if he's, you know, off on vacation somewhere. It's like a personal business advisor, but without the hefty hourly rate. Exactly. And that's part of a bigger trend, too, right? Democratizing knowledge. It's not about who you know or how much you can pay anymore. It's about, like, can you get the information you need when you need it? Technology can bridge that gap. This AI mentor bot, it's still being developed, though, right? Do we have any sense of what it'll actually be like when it launches? It's early days, but if his other ventures are any indication, especially Empowery, I'd say it's going to be a mix of practical advice, actionable strategies, maybe even some of that humor we were talking about <laughs> earlier, right? Imagine you're getting tailored advice on global sourcing or inventory, but it feels like you're chatting with Steve himself. That's wild. It's like having a business partner, but your partner is like AI powered by years of experience. I have to say... This whole parsimony thing is growing on me. But let's bring it back to our listener for a sec. They were specifically curious about like ERP and AI for entrepreneurs. How does this all fit together for them? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Our listener is at this crossroads, dealing with many of the same challenges that Steve Simonson has seen and tackled head on. They're obviously intrigued by ERP and AI, but also likely feeling a bit overwhelmed by all the info out there, right? And the pressure to make the right call for their business. Exactly. And that's where Parsimony comes in, offering a solution that caters specifically to entrepreneurs, emphasizing customization, expert help, all led by someone who genuinely wants others to succeed. They've taken Steve's experience and like poured it into Parsimony, creating a one-stop shop for entrepreneurs who really want to use tech to its full potential. And don't forget that AI mentor bot. Having access to that kind of insight when you're up late, working on your business, trying to get ahead, that's got to be a game changer. It's like he's right there with you, but you don't have to, you know, actually deal with him being right there with you. Exactly. And that's what's so cool about it. It's not just about the tech itself. Mm -hmm. right? It's the human element, that experience and support that can really make a difference. And it seems like Parsimony really gets that. Yeah, they do. You know, as we've been talking, I keep thinking about this whole stack of stuff you gave us. We've got the website, Steve's bio, those YouTube videos. Yeah. But there's also all this information on their training programs. Like they've got courses on accounting, CRM, even global sourcing strategies. It's true. It's like they've thought of everything an entrepreneur might need, not just to use the software, but to really like thrive in business today. It's pretty impressive. It's almost overwhelming, you know, in a good way. Like, OK, I get the tech. I see how experienced the team is. But where do you even start? And that's exactly why that training element is so important. Yeah. Because it's not enough to just have the tools. You got to know how to use them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it goes back to what we were saying about Steve Simonson's whole philosophy. You know, this retirement 2.0 thing. He's not just building a company. He's building a movement. Yeah. It's like he's saying, hey, I know this is tough, but you don't have to do it alone. Yeah. It can feel like you're on your own a lot of the time as an entrepreneur. Absolutely. And to have someone or even a company saying, we get it. We're here to help. Mm -hmm. That's got to be huge. Definitely. So as we wrap up this deep dive, let's bring it back to our listener one last time. We covered a lot from like the basics of ERP and AI to customization, the importance of expertise. And we've seen how parsimony with Steve at the helm has created something pretty unique, I think. But what does it all mean for you, our listener? It seems like you're at this pivotal point in your own journey as an entrepreneur. Intrigued by all the tech can offer, but also probably aware of how tough it is to implement, to use well, all of that. 
you've got big goals, but maybe also feeling the weight of those goals, right? Yeah. <laughs> Wondering if you have what it takes. And based on what we've explored today, parsimony could be that missing piece. It's more than just software. It's a whole system designed with entrepreneurs in mind every step of the way. They've got the tech, the know-how, and a leader who is clearly like passionate about helping people succeed. What more could you ask for? Well, besides that AI mentor bot, of course, imagine having that at your fingertips, ready to answer any question, give advice, walk you through those tough decisions. It'd be like a secret weapon, wouldn't it? Exactly. It's an amazing time to be an entrepreneur, that's for sure. And with companies like Parsimony out there, the future is looking bright. But we want to hear from you. What were your biggest takeaways from this deep dive? Any questions we didn't answer? Head over to our website or find us on social media to share your thoughts. Until next time, keep exploring, keep innovating, and keep on diving deep.